Michael here, back for another big week in LEGO news. Disney 100th anniversary minifigures and what it could mean for Marvel, Star Wars, and Simpsons. 2023 LEGO City. Halloween minifigures, lunch boxes, bags, and stamps. Plus, could we be getting LEGO Thomas? And a huge thanks to everyone for making last week's video a massive hit. And I'll kick off another round of the weekly giveaway. Just subscribe and leave a comment about this week's news. And of course, I'm back with LEGO deals from Amazon and across the web. So if you want to pick anything up to support the channel, there's links in the description below. First up, Macy says 10% off a bunch of LEGO sets, including some recent Star Wars releases and our first discount on the Orchids and Succulents which Amazon's matching. Also at Amazon, LEGO Technic Ducati is 30% off. Next, LEGO City Beach Lifeguard Station is 26% off, and LEGO Marvel Shang-Chi Battle at the Ancient Village is 23% off. The LEGO Marvel Spider-Man Web Quarters Hangout is 18% off, and the LEGO Critter 3-in-1 Majestic Tiger is 16% off. Plus, over at LEGO, all the September releases are now available, like the Hogwarts Express, Motorized Lighthouse, Advent Calendars, and so much more. If you want to pick up any of these sets and support the channel, there's links in the description below. Next up, thanks to foreign retailer JB Spielwaren's podcast, we've got word that the LEGO Disney minifigure series may be back for a third series. This series is rumored to come out May of next year and be based off the 100 Years of Wonder celebration. With 100 years of history, though, Disney could be pulling from lots of different characters, including the many acquisitions we've seen over the last years. So let's break down everything that we might see in this upcoming series. As we've gotten versions of Mickey and Minnie in both series of minifigures, these seem to be the most likely choices. I'm thinking we'll likely see a classic depiction of the characters, or even these black and white ones like we see in the logo. I could also see us only getting Mickey, which would make the Sorcerer's Apprentice Mickey a really obvious choice, if not other classic depictions like band leader Mickey. In both series one and two, we also got characters that are an offshoot of Mickey and Minnie, and I don't think this series will be any different. And with this celebrating 100 years, I think the likely choice is Oswald the Lucky Rabbit, who was actually a Disney character introduced before Mickey Mouse. But as a Goofy movie fan, I just want Goofy and Max. Most of the Disney minifigures came in pairs, so I think that there's likely some iconic duos that this new series could cover. From Disney Animation, there's Beauty and the Beast, Nick Wilde and Judy Hopps from Zootopia, Baymax and Hero from Big Hero 6, and Wreck-It Ralph and Vanellope. And from Pixar, there's Mike and Sully from Monsters, Inc., Carl and Russell from Up, and Linguini and Remy from Ratatouille. Speaking of Pixar, we've gotten Pixar characters from Toy Story and The Incredibles in both series one and two. And from the remaining Pixar movies, I could see us getting some of the characters from Inside Out, Miguel from Coco, or Flick from A Bug's Life. In both series one and two, we've also gotten some of the princess characters that we normally only get as mini dolls. And I could see that continuing in this series, with a likely choice being Snow White, which was actually Disney's first princess from their first feature-length animated film. Or perhaps Cinderella, which is another one of those classic princesses. But really, any of the numerous Disney princesses would be great to see in minifigure form. In series one and two, we got some other leading characters as well, and I see that continuing maybe with a classic like Pinocchio. I also think Tarzan or Mowgli from The Jungle Book could be great choices, not to mention Mirabelle from the recent favorite Encanto. Both series one and two have included iconic Disney villains, so we'll definitely be getting more of those. To go along with some of the princesses, I could see the Evil Queen for Snow White, Gaston for Belle, or Dr. Facilier for Tiana. I could also see the Red Queen from Alice in Wonderland, but my choice is really Cruella de Vil from 101 Dalmatians. Both series 1 and 2 had characters from Aladdin and The Incredibles, so if they're continuing from previous series, from Alice in Wonderland, I could see the Mad Hatter. From Frozen, I can see Kristoff, and from Lilo and Stitch, Lilo. But with 100 years to pull from, we may see them make different choices. For instance, can we see characters representing the Disney parks, or Disney's many live-action films, of which I think Mary Poppins would be a great choice. But if we think acquisitions, we could see even more minifigures like the ones we got from Marvel, as there's just so many characters we never got. Not to mention the juggernaut that is Star Wars, with all of the movies, sequels, prequels, animation, and new TV series. We could see more from Disney-branded properties like The Muppets, but what about not Disney-branded properties like The Simpsons, which was part of their 20th anniversary Fox acquisition? That even includes the world of Avatar, which we're getting sets for next month. But either way, as a huge Disney fan, I can't wait to find out. Next up, thanks to Brick Merge, we've got the details of the 2023 city sets. First up, the LEGO Stunts line will be back, which means two more bikes, including one called the Cyber Stunt Bike. There will also be four more challenge sets ranging from $20 to $90, including the Stunt Ramp with Dunk Challenge and the Stunt Truck and Fire Challenge. Next, for $50, we'll be getting an auto repair shop, which I think is a cool idea. For $45, we'll be getting the Gaming Tournament Truck, and that price makes me think it'll be similarly sized to this LEGO City truck, but feature video games you can play off the side. Next up, similar to this previous truck, we're getting the Ice Cream Slush Truck for $20, which instead of featuring ice cream, will feature slushies. And speaking of trucks, for $35, we're getting the one called Garbage Disposal, but they think it's a garbage truck build. For $30, we've got the Off-Road Adventure set, which reminds me a lot of these ones which tow different off-road vehicles. Next, for $20, we're getting a wheel loader, which is always fun to get construction equipment. And for $10, we're getting the Compact Tractor. Also, for $10, we'll be getting an Animal Rescue Truck, which reminds me of the Wildlife Rescue ATV that we got. Plus, for $10, we'll also be getting the Electric Sports Car, which reminded me of this fun set. For Fire, we're getting a Fire Brigade Command Vehicle for $55, which is likely a large scale 
fire truck. And for $35, we're getting a small scale fire station and fire truck, which reminds me of this set, which only came out in Europe. For $20, we'll also be getting a fire boat, which I think could be fun. And for $10, another small scale fire truck. Next for police, we'll be getting a police academy for $90, which is likely to look like similar large scale police station sets, which is surprising since we'll also be getting an emergency vehicle headquarters for $65 and a police station breakout set for $35, which makes it sound like there are three police station sets next year. For $20, we're also getting the mobile police dog training set, which is probably the best one. And for $10, we're getting the police motorbike pursuit, which likely comes with a motorcycle. Next, thanks to Stone Wars, we've got to look at all the Halloween figures coming to your store's build a minifigure station. First up, we've got a Day of the Dead inspired La Katrina minifigure with a really ornate print on the torso and dress, plus that amazing face print. Next, we've got this bat boy with the headpiece and purple wings, not to mention a fun print on the torso with candy in the pockets. Next up, we've got the witch with a recolor on that hair hat combo, plus a very detailed print with the spider webs and stars that continues on the front and the back of the dress. Next, the Scooby pumpkin head is back with the scarecrow who has a great flannel with overalls print plus a nice face print underneath. Not for Halloween, there's also this great Boy Scout-like character who features an amazing torso print. There's also these three more generic city characters who all feature awesome new torsos, which I really appreciate all the detail they put in. And finally, this sailor minifigure, which I think is a great addition. Stone Wars is also giving us our first look at the Year of the Rabbit gift with purchase. As you might recall, every January we get a brand new gift with purchase to celebrate the Lunar New Year, each featuring a different animal which represents that year on the Chinese calendar. And this tradition continues next year with the Year of the Rabbit, where there will be this gift with purchase that you can expect. The overall design for the rabbit turned out pretty cute, with its large eyes and some pretty nice shaping to create the body and legs. Plus, the head and ears are poseable. And for right now, we're waiting for the details for when this promo will start and how much you'll have to spend to get it. Next in LEGO Ideas News, the Thomas the Tank Engine project was the only one to hit 10,000 supporters on the platform this week. This brick-built version of the iconic train aims to celebrate this classic character's 75th anniversary. The design also includes a small section of train track for display, and I think this is just a perfect size for LEGO Ideas, as I often wonder if the size of a project impacts its chances to be chosen, and there are just so many high-end expensive LEGO Ideas sets. For those not aware, there was actually a previous Thomas LEGO line from LEGO Duplo, but we never got one in system scale. And after the recent Hogwarts Express, it's nice that this set would also fit on standard LEGO City-style track. On the whole, I think this would make a really fun LEGO Ideas set, so I'm very curious to see how it does in the review round. But as always, we'll have to wait and see. Next up, over on LEGO's VIP Rewards site, they've released a brand new reward in this LEGO Tin Lunchbox. This reward will set you back 2,500 VIP points, but I love all the artwork as it recreates this ad from 1965, which showed off all the creations you can make with this classic LEGO set. And I think this one turned out pretty cool. For more nostalgia, LEGO also posted this crossbody handbag featuring LEGO logos from 1934 to 1958. I always like these vintage Lego logos and it's a cool way to carry it around with you. The modern logo is on the back and there's just some nice details overall. Over on Amazon, there's also this similar retro vehicles crossbody handbag, which features a photo of set 330, which is this classic Jeep set. And this also has some nice details with the colorful stripes on the side. And if you want to pick either up and support the channel, there's links below. Next to celebrate the 90th anniversary over in Austria, the Austria Post has issued this amazing new stamp. Depicted, there's a minifigure for the Austria Austria Post, and there's some brick-built trees and a large Ferris wheel that we haven't ever gotten as a set. And I'm of course jealous there aren't any LEGO stamps here in the US. Next up this week, the LEGO Foundation has donated another 13.6 million to help support children in Ukraine. This donation aims to help the 3.6 million Ukrainian children that have had their education disrupted. Not only do they hope this helps them continue their education, but also get access to services to support mental well-being, which is so critical. The LEGO Foundation continues to do really important work, and it's very inspiring. Inspiring. So there you have it with another fun week in LEGO news, and I'm definitely most excited about the 100 Years of Wonder Disney CMFs. Even if they stick with the classic animation-based minifigures, there's just so much for them to pull from, not to mention everything else they have access to with their large portfolio of characters. And while I wait for that and everything from LEGO City next year, I'm just keeping my eyes peeled for those Halloween build a minifigure figures, as they haven't shown up at my store yet. Be sure to leave this video a thumbs up down below if you're as excited as me, and don't forget to subscribe because I'll be back next Saturday with even more LEGO news. And let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. What did you think about all the stories? And which one are you most excited about? And now we've got this week's giveaway winner. Congratulations. And be sure to email me from the about page on my channel so we can coordinate about the prize. And if you want to enter this week's round, just leave me a comment about this week's news. You must be a subscriber to win and definitely turn on notifications to find out when my next video is posted because I'll be announcing the winners at the end of some of the videos. That's all the time we've got for today. Thanks and have a good one. 
Hey, Michael here. Click you to watch last week's video featuring the $500 Marvel set. More from Marvel, DC, Harry Potter, and more. And don't forget to subscribe.